What's up you guys, it's your girl Ebony Rosa and today we are doing a highly requested video on how I get my makeup to makeup. Now don't be trying to tell me, oh you're not supposed to do this like this and this like this, hey baby. I am not a professional makeup artist, I'm not looking for tips, I'm not looking for advice, this is just what I do. Are we here before we get started, are we here? Okay. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Ebony's Galleria and make sure you guys are following my TikTok at Ebony Rosa. I think this will be a beginner friendly tutorial. I do use a mix of drugstore products and mid-end products. I wouldn't say they're super high end. The first thing I'm going to do is skin prep. When I first started doing my makeup y'all, I was never a skin prep girly. I used to just slap my foundation and concealer on. We starting off with a fresh clear face. Your makeup game will never be a 10 if your skincare is only a 2. To freshen up my skin, I'm going to go on with this toner by Thayer's. It is the lavender facial toner. This just helps me get rid of any dirt or excess oil I have on my skin. And I did have some. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Next, I'm going to go on with Glow Recipes Nice Cinema Drops. I'm going to use just a few pumps of this. And when I moisturize, guys, I make sure I pull my skin up. I don't like to drag down because they said it causes premature wrinkles. And I'm too young. Next, I'm going to go on with this cream by Soon Jung. This is the Intensive Barrier Cream. So I'm going to go on with some eye cream. This is by Mizan. This just helps me have a really smooth under eye. It definitely helps with um, creasing. Then I'm going to go on with some sunscreen. Yes, believe it, black people need sunscreen. I used to believe that myth for so long. And once I started using sunscreen, my skin honestly started clearing up. Sunscreen is definitely a game changer. You need it. Now that we're finished with skin prep, the first thing I do is my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the color number 4. I love this pencil so much. So I'm my oily skin girlies who um, have problems with shine on their eyebrows. Take a little bit of setting powder on a powder puff before you start doing your makeup. This just helps you get rid of the shine. I usually start with the tail of my eyebrow. Now this would be so much easier if my eyebrows were actually done, but I'm letting them grow out. One of my eyebrows has like a really defined arch. And the other one is kind of more like, I think this one is the one with a higher arch. I don't remember. But they're never sisters. They're definitely cousins. So when I start to get to the front, I like to just feather my eyebrow upward instead of just like actually trying to fill it in. I do bring it out a little bit towards the front because later it will get covered up with concealer and foundation and stuff anyways. I'm about done filling in my eyebrows. I know they look crazy. This one is the higher arch for sure. So I like to take a Q-tip with just water on it and clean up my eyebrow before concealing it. I like to pull up the inverted filter on TikTok so I can see what they actually look like because it low-key looks even in the mirror like me looking at it like this. this is as good as it's gonna get my eyebrows are not my strong suit when they're not done i like to use elf in the color deep chestnut i don't put a lot of concealer i just take a little bit and wipe it off i just take it right underneath my brow bone And if need be, I do add more. And I don't go all the way to the front of my brow. I like to stay in my brow bone to kind of make sure it gives that highlighted look. So I don't drag my concealer all the way out to the front. And then I'll take what's ever left and drag it down to my eyelid. I just blend out the rest with my finger. Now I'm just taking a Real Techniques brush. This is the 200 Expert Face Brush and I'm just gonna buff out my eyelid. Next is eyeshadow and this is where I will go in with my Tarte Toasted Palette. 
I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's an orange brownish shade and I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm going up my brow bone, but I'm not covering up the whole highlighted area, if that makes sense. That's pretty much it for eyeshadow. So next is going to be our foundation. I'm going to be using Hydro Grip Primer by Milk. I like to focus this in my T-zone more than anything. And yes, y'all, if y'all cannot tell, I do neglect my forehead when I'm using these products. It's not on purpose. It's just, I don't know. I'm gonna let that dry down just a little bit before I apply my foundation. Like that, that junk sticks. It really sticks. To apply my foundation, I like to use a flat angled brush. I'm gonna be using NARS and New Caledonia. I'm also gonna be using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Mocha. I know these look like completely different colors, but the lower half of my face, like my jaw area, is a little bit darker than my, you know, the rest of my face. So if I use this one all over my face, it kind of gives me like a greenish tint down here. So I use this one. I just mix them together on my, on my foundation brush. I'm gonna take a pump of the NARS. I don't use a lot of foundation, but I'm gonna take a pump of the NARS and just like, you know, kind of like blend it. I like to start in the middle of my face and then blend downwards, but I do stay away from my um, under eye as much as possible. And we're making sure we're getting that neck. So here is how the foundation looks. Really smooth, it looks like it's my exact skin color. Highlight, I'm gonna be using that same um, e.l.f. highlight I used underneath my brow bone. So when highlighting underneath my eyes, I like to follow my nose bridge. So I bring my concealer close to my nose and I kind of define it, like draw structure. And I bring it up like right where my tear duct is. I don't want to get too close to underneath my eye, which I kind of already did, but um, I like to stay a little bit lower and I'll drag it down to about where my nose stops and I'll take it on the outer corner. I don't go any further than the tail of my brow bone and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm gonna take a little bit under my chin and I'm gonna take some down my nose bridge and in between my eyebrows. I don't let my highlight sit. I just immediately blend out, especially since I'm not going for a full coverage look. And I forgot to mention that this is the Soft Accent Brush by Real Techniques. Blending up my nose and then going underneath my eye. I'm kind of pushing the, the product into my skin versus sweeping it and moving it around. I'm gonna blend out the highlight on my chin. and then my nose bridge and in between my eyebrows. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting rid of any harsh lines before I move on to the next step. 
I'm gonna go in with a slightly, well, a really, it's not slightly lighter, it's pretty light. I'm gonna use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I'm gonna use the same brush I just used to blend out the e.l.f. again. Making sure we don't have any creases and any harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and lightly set with this translucent powder. So now I've lightly set, I like to mix this and I like to mix the translucent powder together to kind of give me like a more neutral setting powder versus a super yellow one. And I mix them together. I'm going to go ahead and bake with the concoction I just made. The only areas I'm going to be baking is underneath my eye and underneath my bronzer, but that'll be like the last few steps. I like to use the opposite end of my powder puff and just kind of blend out the bottom. It's more of an ombre look. I don't know if that's how you describe it. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go ahead and sweep off my under eye with this e.l.f. brush. This is the Flawless Face Brush. To add some warmth back into my face, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette in the shade Dark. I don't use a particular shade. I honestly just dab my brush into either of them. This is similar to the foundation brush I have, but it's more of a rounded shape at the top. You guys can see that. The bronze palette from Juvia's Place is really similar to the eyeshadow I used in my Tarte Toasted palette. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take that same eyeshadow brush I used earlier and I'm going to define my nose. I'm going to start from where my eyeshadow is and I'm going to just bring it down. Now I'm going to go in and bronze my cheek area. And I do not contour guys. I just use bronzer. I feel like contouring makes me look really ashy for some reason. This is a way better look. I'm sorry I had y'all at that angle that whole time. I'm going to go ahead and bake underneath my bronzer. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier by itself to kind of like carve out the bottom. And then I blend it downwards. I'm gonna take this smudge brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna go in with this dark brown from the Toasted palette and I'm gonna use this underneath my waterline. I don't wanna use a black liner only because I feel like it's just a bit too harsh. I'm going with my Too Faced um, Damn Girl Mascara. And everybody knows how to put on bottom mascara, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away my powder. And honestly, I'm not even like sweeping it away. I'm just kind of doing circular motions to kind of blend it out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face with this um, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 40. I'm basically just going all over my face and I'm also going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Sun Beige and I'm gonna go back over spots where I feel like needs to be just highlighted just a little bit more so while that sits I like to highlight the inner corner of my eye like I'm a whore for it I have to highlight the inner corner of my eye I'm gonna use that same palette by Tarte Inner corner highlight just honestly does it for me. I'm going to add some to my nose. 
on the bridge of my nose. Now I'm gonna just sweep away that um, Sydney I put on earlier. Next is going to be my lip combo. I'm gonna go in and take that same brown shade from the Tarte Toasted Palette. I'm gonna take this lip smudge brush from Real Techniques. I bring it into the middle just a little bit. I'm gonna take this Fruit Fetish Lip Oil by Milani. I'm gonna put that all over my lip. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Makeup Revolution Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Kiss. I'm gonna take a white shade almost and put it in the middle of my lip. To set my face, I'm gonna go on with this Makeup Forever Mist and Set. I'm gonna shake it up first. I'm just And this is how we are looking up close and personal. The base is really giving that girl. She's still ebony. She's just more enhanced. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I am nowhere near a professional makeup artist, but I can do a little something to myself. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to like and share this video. And of course, I will see you guys next time.